Hello YouTube, it's time for a Bricklink haul and this one is from Stinky Pete's here in Australia with a name like that, how could I resist? Actually, he was one of the only ones in Australia who had a bulk of one of the parts I'm going to get so this follows on from my last city update involving trains to give you a bit of a hint as to what's in here I thought for this haul as well, I'd include a, a DC poly bag. One of my uh, one of my good friends over here gave me today. I uh, wasn't expecting it. He asked me uh, what DC figures I didn't have. I said, well, to be honest, I don't have any. It's one series I haven't actually bothered with, although there are a couple I would like to get. So let's open this up and see what he gave me. And let's hope this isn't going down a rabbit hole of having to buy a whole load more. Oh, Batman. Which Batman is this? This is the... Oh, cool! <laughs> Hang on. Make sure I get the name right on this one, because I really haven't looked at the DC ones. I'm sorry, everyone who's a DC fan. I do like some DC stuff, but... Where are we? This one, number 16. What's he? Looks like a young Batman. Cool. All right. Tell me in the comments which one that is. I will look it up afterwards. Didn't know what one it was coming, so let's get my GJ Bricks figure out of the way. Now, here is our box of Stinky Pete goodness. Sounds a bit weird saying that, but let's open this up and you'll quickly see why this one's important. He also had a load of other stuff on here, which is very important, and I will go through that in opening the box. And this actually extends from another one I have um, coming uh, to do. So here we have the very, 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 very important 20 pieces of straight track. Now, as anybody who collects train stuff knows, straight track is a pain in the butt sometimes because you get so many curves in Lego sets that straight is just a pain in the butt to get. Stinky Pete had the most straight track of any of the Bricklink sellers in Australia that I could find. I almost cleaned him out, but then I realized I actually do have some straights in some of the boxes I haven't opened yet. So that's good, as well as another one I got today. Oh, shouldn't give that away, but anyway, yes. What else do we have in here? He's given me a box. No, he's just used that as packaging. <laughs> Put that in my rubbish box. Let's get through this. Now, one of the things I mentioned in my recent video was I need to make my bridge bigger. So, one of the things I have done to facilitate that was I got some parts in his shop that anybody who's done anything with technical or any kind of sort of big area builds knows that Lego is quite, I can't open this. I don't know why, where's the... My goodness, it's adult proof. There we go. Um, anybody who's done anything with uh, big builds in Lego knows that Lego likes to use these parts a lot because they're really good to build up. Like you can stud them together and they give really good solid foundation and you can play it across the top of it. So I got five of these to use in the bridge. Um, I was thinking about structurally where I'm going to put them and how I'm going to make that work because obviously the span is going to be a lot bigger. But I'm going to cover that in another video. This bag sealed itself again. Good grief. So yeah, there is five of those. Then a bucket load of plates again for the bridge. I need it for the bridge, but I actually do need plates. So I have used up a load of plates recently. So we got a load of these ones. These were good value. Yeah, 10% off when I bought it. So that's why I just went sort of a bit to town on the good value plates. Anybody who's ordered from Bricklinks knows that sometimes some stores, something like this can be more expensive than on other stores. His store was actually good value. So I got a load of them, as you can see. I can't remember how many of these I got. I got a lot of them anyway. So these are for use in bridge and for mocks and for filling out new areas of Studsburg, which is good. Here we have more track, lots and lots of straight track. All right, now we get down to, I'm gonna put all this out of the way because now we get down to the messy bit. There is a lot here. <laughs> yeah. Gives you some idea. You can see a bit of a color theme going on there though because we've got the red, the gray, light gray, one standout yellow piece. And there was a couple of interesting bits that I put in there as well. I actually just realised what that bit of cardboard I put in the bin was. Right, let's get it back from the bin. Because this is actually important. <laughs> I thought it was in this bag, it's not. So let's have a look. 
Ah, these Ziploc bags don't like me. There we go. Well, well wrapped. Always impresses me how well wrapped some Bricklink stores are. Right. Lots and lot. I'm probably going to regret tipping this all out. I think that's the end of the bag. Yep, right. Here we go. So again, let's just work our way through this. Let's put this all out of the way. Yep, so again, lots of plates. Lots of plates. These are ones I've gone through a lot of these plates recently, and you'll see that in a couple of upcoming mocks. I also need it for the bridge. Anybody who's built that marble bridge knows there's a lot of plates in it. Um, I obviously am going to be changing it quite heavily, so I need them for that. I've got a couple more of these because I actually ran out of them strangely. I, I dropped one of my trains and this bit broke off and I, gluing it back on didn't work. Just wasn't happy. So I just got new ones because they were on cheap. Uh, again, more plates. <laughs> more plates. Lots of plates. Huge amount of plates. I like these. I like these pieces because they're very good for uh, doing kind of detailing in anything industrial, trains, things like that. So I've sort of been picking up a couple of these here and there for use on, if you saw my brake carriage, uh, my coal truck uh, or my wagons I built for my commemorative train, you'll know I used one of these underneath one of those as a sort of braking handle type thing. So very useful for that kind of stuff, very useful for industrial stuff. So yeah, I just be picking those up as I see them. Um, they're not generally an expensive part, but they are useful. And again, another part that's quite useful for doing some sort of industrial detailing. So just like to have these things in the inventory to use. Oh, another, another one of those steering wheel valve type pieces. Okay, here's an interesting one. This, never seen this before, got it. Um, I have uh, a couple of places where I think I'm gonna use this one. I am going to be doing a, a service station mock and I figured this could be useful for that one. I also am doing a theme park one, so this could be useful for that too. Just like the piece. These are for use on the support of the bridge. So if you look at the bridge, it actually has a load of these like that and then like that and then like that and you basically build the uh, the wires like that so that's how it works so as you can see I have just bought a bucket load of the parts to do that one so I can do my bridge expansion and this actually I have another haul from Bricklink coming which has even more of these parts in so I definitely should be able to do complete the span on both sides and possibly start on doing one in the middle I haven't decided on that one yet though it would look cool, but I'm just thinking about, again, how many parts I would need to add that one extra bit of detail, and is it worth the cost? It's, yeah. Let me know in the comments what you think on that one, because it's one of those things, you know, I could add an extra piece to it, and it would look really cool, but then it's probably like another $30 of bricks to actually do that one thing. So, you know, at that point you go, is it really worth it? Mm, not sure. Um, again, these parts here are for doing the detailing the walls uh, if you look along the wall on the bridge there's these slopes i actually have a load more of these from something else i was doing as well so i'm, I'm well stocked on those on those cheese slopes they are useful and then these pieces here and these pieces here if you look along the edge of the sanctum uh, of the marble bridge the uh they use these as detailing along the edges to hide some of the some of the work underneath um which looks really cool so again i've stocked up on a load of these parts to use these I ran out of recently and I kind of needed a few of them so I've just got them for some mocks. Now I've got them I probably won't need them but it's one of those if I have it I won't need it if I have it if I don't have it I do need it so I'd rather have it and not remember what I needed it for than not have it. And these again just detailing on the bridge more parts on the bridge I just really like these colour as well I'm going to use that in uh, in a mock as well for doing some of the flooring with some white tiles that'd be really cool. And I did see, yep, yeah, I got some of these ones as well, the ones with the two studs, because you can do some quite nice tricks with that, and it also gives you a point to, to put minifigures on too, if you want to. What else? I think that might be coming to the end of the actual parts in there. Oh, no, I've got some of these grey ones as well. I've got loads of these now. These are good. These are good useful parts for clipping on roofs and things. And again, plates, 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 lots of plates. I don't think there was anything else unique in there beyond those ones I showed you. So it was, there was quite a lot of bulking as you say, I mean as I say, th these kind of, I want to build the bridge out, it's quite important as you saw from my um, video, I want two lines of track and to do that I need to make the bridge bigger so it's kind of urgent to get that done. So that's why I got those parts. Now let's go back to this and this should be 
hopefully, some stickers. And I don't usually buy stickers. I, I sort of, I always look, I always watch Robin Hood's uh, brick hauls and I think, oh, I love, I love what he does with those. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd, I'd sort of jump on the bandwagon of getting some sticker sheets to, um, to do things. So what have we got here? All right, this one here. Oh, I can't remember what set this was from. I should have looked this up. Ah, uh, it's got to be a friend set, almost definitely. But yeah, I like this newspaper piece here in particular. I like this Floria's Cafe here, and these blue waves are quite nice too. So, again, I thought that was sort of some nice pieces. But yeah, that that newsprint there, I thought was really cool. So that was why I got that sticker. And then this one here. Yeah, I'm gonna do something with Avengers. <laughs> No other, no other way to put it. There's going to be something done with Avengers. So yeah, uh, this was actually amazingly cheap for you know I thought anything with this sort of Avengers stickers on and things like that would be quite expensive, but that actually was quite good value. Again, he had it on on sale. I think that was like 80 cents or something like that. So it wasn't huge. So yeah, I'm going to use these stickers for an upcoming mock I have, depending, which is going to be using something uh, coming out very soon. So there we go. That was the uh, that was all the parts. Um, you can see. There was definitely method to the madness here. Um, some of it was filling in parts I needed, but these ones here in particular are very much for building out the structure in my bridge. Very necessary. So, I'm going to put these together. Yeah, so let me know in the comments what you think of those parts. Is there anything useful? And are you looking forward to seeing the bridge make progress and become much, 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 much bigger and actually finish the span? Because I never actually completed the span because the set doesn't come with wires all the way to the ends. It only comes with the wires from the main column down to one end and that's it. So uh, this will let me complete that one finally, which is something I've always wanted to do. All right, if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe. I post regularly. Um, and here's a couple more videos I think you all like. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again very, very soon.